This is Chloe, Natalie, and McKenna from the Lumen Christi 7th grade discipleship class, presenting you with the good news to go for the third Sunday of Lent, February 28, 2016. Today's gospel is found in Luke chapter 13, verses 1 through 9. How can we fill ourselves with God's word and love? Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Some people told Jesus about the Galileans, whose blood Pilate had mingled with the blood of their sacrifices. Jesus said to them in reply, Do you think that because these Galileans suffered in this way, they were greater sinners than all other Galileans? By no means. But I tell you, if you do not repent, you will all perish as they did. Or those 18 people who were killed when the tower at Siloam fell on them. Do you think they were more guilty than everyone else who lived in Jerusalem? By no means. But I tell you, if you do not repent, you will all perish as they did. And he told them this parable. There once was a person who had a fig tree planted in his orchard. And when he came in search of fruit on it, but found none, he said to the gardener, For three years now I have come in search of fruit on this fig tree, but have found none. So cut it down. Why should it exhaust the soil? He said to him in reply, Sir, leave it for this year also, and I shall cultivate the ground around it and fertilize it. It may bear fruit in the future. If not, you can cut it down. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What do the words of this gospel mean to you? To me, it means fill and surround yourself with God's word and love, and you too will be fruitful in life. Well, I think it means that when we turn away from God, ask for forgiveness. Oh, I get it. The gardener told him he would cultivate and fertilize the ground around the tree, because he would get rid of the exhausted soil and renew it, just like God will forgive us. So, that's why we should fill and surround ourselves with God's word and love, so that we won't need to be forgiven, or, in other words, cultivated and fertilized, even though God's forgiveness is always there for us. So, how will you use this in your life? Well, I'm going to be following God's word and love, love by staying faithful to God. For example, I will be more faithful by doing more service around my community, being kind to others even if they aren't always kind to me, and praying every day. I'm going to ask for forgiveness when I mess up and fail to follow God. In conclusion, we must always be like that cultivated and fertilized soil, meaning free from sin by following God. And this is the good news to go according to Luke, chapter 13, verses 1 through 9.